Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, guys. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, this platform uh, called Alterna.life. Uh, this is a platform where you can invest your money as, as an investor and then you end up getting your profits and uh, according to the percentages that they they divide. So we are talking about how investors' uh, revenues are uh, being invested, you know. And then uh, the title of the video is called Revenue for Investors because uh, we are looking at the revenues that investors uh, invest into. So uh, without, uh, without uh, wasting your, much of your time, guys, uh, we have uh, the types of revenues that investors love the most. So uh, whenever you approach a potential investors, uh, revenue will form a big part of negotiations. So um, this is just this is this is the, this is just the basic idea of revenue. So whenever you approach the potential investors, revenue uh, will form uh, a big part of negotiations. So investors want uh, want to be they want to be sure that uh, they are actually going to make a profit out of their investments. Uh, there are a number of uh, different revenue types though and uh, while all types of uh, revenues are, are welcomed by investors there are some types that are more powerful than others so what are the different uh, what are the different revenue types that uh, investors love the most the number one that uh, uh, revenue revenue type that investors love the most is called the predictable guaranteed revenue so uh, in this platform you are going to see everything step by step Step by step, everything will be explained to this video. So uh, watch it to to uh, to the end, so that you understand what this uh, what this content is all about. Yeah. So uh, standing above all others, uh, I, I, I I talked about the predictable guaranteed revenue. Uh, st uh, so standing above all others is uh, this is the revenue that you can easily predict, and uh, is uh, guaranteed. Uh, this is not a sales uh, forecast. Uh, I think. Uh, Focused. I mean, this is uh, this is a uh, money that uh, definitely on its way. Definitely on its way. Uh, using these uh, figures, uh, using these figures, I mean, investors can get a rough idea of how a business is uh, is doing and how much they can uh, expect to come at the end of in the end uh, in the end at the end of uh, I mean in at the end of every month. There are multiple types of uh, services that will enable predictable and guaranteed uh, income to flow in. Uh, purchase, order financing, and invoice uh, factorizing. Uh, so uh, the difference, uh, the difference uh, between uh, purchase order uh, financing and invoice uh, factorizing is that uh, purchase order financing is uh, designed to be for tangible items. Both options are great for investors because it is well known that both both options sorry both options help to facilitate growth. Remember that investors are not just looking at the current performance; they are looking for I mean they are looking at the potential growth going forward. Uh, yeah, going forward. So there's a second one type of uh, revenue that investors are willing to invest in is a passive revenue so a passive revenue is a revenue that comes in without any efforts uh, it's just uh, we are just sharing a basic idea of revenues and uh, when you approach a potential investors revenue will, will form a big part of negotiations investors uh, want uh, want to be sure that they can i mean they are actually going to make a profit from their investments so there are types of uh, different uh, revenue types I mean, there are, there are a number of uh, different types of revenues, though, and well, uh, well, well, all types of, uh, I mean, all types of revenues are w welcomed by investors. There are some types that are more powerful than others. So we are going to look at those powerful uh, types of revenues uh, that uh, investors love the most. So what are the different uh, types of uh, revenues? that investors love the most the first one is called the predictable revenue guaranteed so this one standing above all others uh, is revenue uh, is revenue that can that you can easily predict and is guaranteed so this is not uh, a sales forecast this is money that is definitely on its way so using these figures investors can get a rough idea of how a business is doing and how much money they can expect to come in at the end of every month 
there are multiple types of services that uh, will enable predict and guarantee income to throw in purchase orders financing is one of the type of services that falls under the predictable guaranteed revenue so the second one is called invoice factorize uh, the difference between purchase order financing and invoice factorize that purchase order is uh, designed to be for tangible items so both uh, options are great for investors because it is well uh, it is well known that uh, both options help to facilitate growth so remember that investors are not just looking at uh, the current uh, performance they are looking at the potential growth going forward so that was the first one so the second one is called passive revenue so a passive le revenue is a revenue that uh, comes in without an effort on your part uh, the difference between this uh, revenue and the predictable guaranteed revenue from above is that uh, there is no way to guarantee how much you are going to receive every month uh, these monies uh, tends to come to uh, I mean tends to come uh, from uh, from rental incomes so separate investments and loyalties if it happens to be in the entertainment industry uh, it, it tends it tends not to be based on your normal business uh, model so uh, it's monies that are gained I mean these monies that are gained through no input on your part although investors uh, acknowledge that acknowledge that uh, this man uh, this money is, isn't uh, isn't coming from uh, from your core business activities uh, it acts as a it acts as a as a safety uh, net uh, if your core operations suffer from a slow month this ex uh, uh, this extra income could uh, very well uh, keep you afloat so the third one is a uh, it's called a uh, uh, revenue from uh, core business activities so far from predictable this type of revenue is a is a presentation of customers who have come back to make another purchase so uh, the reason why investors love this type of revenue uh, is because it indicates how well you are uh, retaining uh, reta return, returning your customers retaining retaining your customers so your most royal customers will make up the bulk of uh, your revenue. It is common for your top uh, for your top twenty percent of your customers to make up eighty percent of your revenue. A low number of loyal brands uh, followers uh, think uh, something is wrong. I mean, think that think something is wrong because people are not coming back for more investors uh, want uh, want to know whether a business is able to boost the individual wealth uh, of uh, the average customers a business where the average customer spends about hundred dollars uh, over six months uh, is better than uh, a business where the average customer spends uh, ten dollars then uh, never comes back so however keep in mind that uh, investors always uh, thinking years ahead from now so uh, whenever uh, however I mean however keep in mind that uh, investors are always thinking years ahead from now so this type of uh, this one I was talking about is a uh, revenue from core business activities and then there's sales are uh, oh, going to number three so the number three is uh, sales revenue from core business activities so uh, uh, sales are uh, revenue from core business activities that you may be wondering why this is so far down on your on the wrist I mean the truth is that investors like to have uh, a degree of security the three types of revenues above are uh, relatively predictable and they are most are guaranteed to be there at the end of the month sales are revenue from your core business activities fluctuates fluctu uh, fluctuates due to variety of uh, uh, variety of reasons so uh, for a start you may be hit by seasonal fluctuations uh, so uh, in uh, in your in your niche uh, sales revenue is an indicator of success but it can change at any time for any uh, concise, uh, conceivable 
So companies seeking investments will usually they usually use sales performance from the previous months and years in order to in order to to invite the investors. Uh, I mean uh, the investors that are uh, already in the system to help them boost their businesses. So this is the right decisions for them to understand the market. Okay, so uh, we are going to look at the fifth one. I'm sure it's the fifth one. Yeah, the fifth one. So the number five uh, type of uh, revenue that uh, we are going to look at uh, into is uh, profitability isn't as important as you think. So a profitable company is always the aim. You know, at the at at, at the same time isn't uh, the only thing that counts in this business in many cases uh, investors consider this an extremely low priority they realize that most startups are not going to break even for a number of years without uh, significant uh, external investments